morning, good morning, good morning. It's time to rise and shine. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're feeling fine. Good morning, get up, get out of bed. It's time to wake up, you sleepyhead. Time to wake up. It's a brand new day, and we can't miss out on that day to decay. Get your day planned out to be at your best, and you gotta make sure you got the right back test. Wipe the sleep away. Make sure you're awake, 'cause we don't have time for fat finger mistakes. And race your car. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday! Today is March eighth. Welcome to today's Zero DTE live stream. Had the job reports this morning. Stocks were a little bit lower. Now they're up. S and P up eight. Nasdaq up nineteen. Russell up twenty. Dow slightly red. Gold up a half percent. Silver flat. Notes and bonds flat. Ten-year yield down about 0.4 percent. Oil and natty gas a little bit red, soybeans a little bit red, wheat a little bit green, corn a little bit red, euro and the pound slightly green, Bitcoin slightly green. Uh, what I've got for today is my NDX daily trade. We'll go on at the open. I actually, I adjusted my bot to go in a couple minutes after the open to see, I was, I tested the fills a little bit yesterday. I don't, you know, just, it's, it's going to depend on the day. Sometimes you're going to get a better fill at the open. Sometimes you're going to get a better fill if you wait a little bit, but uh, I went ahead and adjusted my bot to get in a couple minutes after the open. And then depending on where VIX is on my early Rick, I have a minimum VIX of 14 at the freeze, it's at 14.02. So I'm just going to let my bot decide if uh, if Rick is going to go or not go. We do have a, uh, you know, based on the expected move this morning, we've got a 25-point expected move. So the pricing of Rick at the open, I would say, is not going to be great anyway, but I am, uh, it's in my challenge portfolio. So I'm just letting it do what it does. About a 25 point expected move in SPX currently. And about 129 point expected move in uh, NDX. VIX down almost 3% after the, it was down about a half percent pre jobs report. Now it's down about 3%. Opening bell in about 40 seconds. I will plan to do some uh, discretionary re-entries today, just kind of a little more Chad style, just kind of based on price action or when I think we may get some consolidation, but any, uh, any normal premium selling is negated because of the big vol contraction. There's the bell. Oh, wow. 
That was my AVGO earnings trade. What just happened here? Huh. I have no idea what just happened. I put an order in, in case it popped up. Anyway, I'll have to come back to that. Uh, all right, at the open, SPX expected move about 25. NDX, a little over about 129.4. I did get filled on a, on a Rick. One twenty nine point four. All right, so my early brick. I filled on NDX at 431. So on my early Rick, I'll just do this. That's my early Rick, and I got filled at 13.75. Uh, On my NDX, I got filled at 431, and I am on the 400s and 200s, same as you discount. So the upper expected move on NDX is at uh, 18,442. That's quite a bit above the range, more than normal. And then on the downside, expected move is 18,183. Huh, yeah, I didn't, it's not covering as much of the expected move as it normally does. But that is it. So I got a max profit of 862, max loss of 1138. Pretty typical. SPX getting a little bounce. I did get in a Bitcoin, some Bitcoin long futures earlier, and that's working nicely. Obviously, Bitcoin's been strong. It had a little pullback 
retracement of yesterday's bar started to push up. So I got long MBT. Looks like I'm up about 900 already got in right as it kind of pulled back in that little consolidation then pushed up. So let's see if Bitcoin can get us some new all-time highs today. So we've got, so I got filled on my Rick at 1375. So my profit targets at 1855. I've got a little threat, a higher threshold for VIX at 14 and a half on my late Rick. So most likely we will not get there unless stocks sell off and the VIX gets pumped. Could happen. Actually, a better price on Rick than I expected with the uh, expected move that we have of 25. So the upside expected move for SPX is about 51.89 and a half. Downside, 51.39 and a half. And Bitcoin's rocking. Got filled on a couple of little orders to sell some. In MES, for those of you following my options selling stuff, so the one that expires in 42 days, I'm going to give it over the weekend. We'll be down under 40 days. That thing has been pushing to the upside, so we'll end up taking a loss on that one. But just to manage risk, once we get under 40 days, I like to close out on those. Um, also, next week, if we get a on a day that we get a ball pump, these 105 day options will then be down closer to a hundred days. So I'll, I'll uh, look to layer into some more short premium in MES. So what did I do in AVGO here? Saying I bought, I, I thought I put an order in to sell, but it's showing that I bought two lots of butterflies. One, these like the second the market opened at 8.30. Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah, okay. So that's the one I bought yesterday for some reason. I don't know what I did. I must have put the order in wrong. Anyway, we did not get a big up move in uh, AVGO, so. That will uh, end up taking a loss on that.
If you are new here, make sure you check out the Zero DTE Resources channel, which can be found right here. Scroll up a little bit at the top. There's a Zero DTE checklist. That's where you want to uh, start. Every month I post my trade plan in the trade plans channel. As you can see here, and then others post their plans as well. So the idea is to get a feel for some of the stuff that we're doing, and then you can build your own trade plan with your own size and risk tolerance based on your portfolio and all that good stuff. And then during these live streams, we have a lot of downtime. You know, we usually get in a few trades and then we're just kind of chatting. So that use this time to answer or ask any questions. Let us help fill in the gaps if you have any questions. Today's live stream will be pretty short. Got in my positions, not much else to do at this point. So we'll be signing off here shortly. But if anybody has any questions or topics you want to talk about, feel free to post in the Zero Live chat channel. SPX breaking up above its five minute, first five minute bar. For you calendar traders, I will be trading some calendars today. I'm going to do the five, seven, the three, six, and the three, seven. I'm going to pass on the six, seven. I'm going to pass on the four, five. We've got next week, we got nothing on Monday. So I definitely wanted to sell some three-day options, which is Monday, and then some do three, five, three, six, three, seven. Oh, I didn't put three, five on here. Yeah, three, five, three, six, three, seven, and then I'm going to do a five, seven. I'm going to skip six, seven because the shorts would be on PPI day. I'm going to skip the four, five because my shorts would be on CPI day. Four, five would probably be okay, but I'm going to pass on it. Got some short premium in gold that I sold yesterday. Natty gas, I've adjusted a couple times. Corn, I've adjusted, uh, I think once, maybe twice. That's dead center. So those are doing fine. Yeah, I think that's right, Morrow. I do also have <clears throat> one of the others. I did put on a uh, another calendar yesterday as well. So I have some more exposure with my single calendar. right here got a duck that's bounced nicely since I put that on and guess what my friends we're hitting new all-time highs, in case you were wondering. 51.74. NDX hit it, ticked it, ticked all-time high yesterday. Hasn't quite pushed up to a new one today. Dow still consolidating a little bit under its all-time high that it hit on February 23rd. Bitcoin's all-time high, about 70,195 that it hit a few days ago. Currently at 69,225. I was looking at wheat for a possible short here. It's been weak and it kind of retraced yesterday's bar came down. 
but I think I'm going to pass on that one. Gold, new all-time highs today, 2192.7. A lot of frothiness, my friends. A lot of frothiness. What's that, Frank D? You haven't heard what? All time highs? <laughs> Is that what you're referring to? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So Chad's trades don't really start until typically after we get off of this live stream. So he didn't he didn't really have a lot to to say. So he'll still be joining the power hour streams and then he'll do his the day the morning ones when he's doing the mighty 90 runners, but um just didn't didn't really make sense for him to keep coming on these morning zero DTE ones since he gets started a little bit later. He'll wait for a couple pushes before he uh, considers entering. All right, my friends, I'm going to sign off. Everybody have a good day. Make some money. Come back in power hour. I mean, these, uh, these premiums are still pretty decent. If you look at SPX, $4, $35.40 wide. Looking juicy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some re-entries um once I start to see that there might be a little bit of consolidation going on right now. That is not the case. This thing is just push, push, pushing. And VIX is staying pretty bid, still still at 14. So we shall see. All right, all. Have a good rest of your day. Chat with you soon.